Hello and welcome back. This is going to be a brief video on how to navigate through the 3D monitor. I've already brought up my project and started the simulator. The first area that I'd like to go over is the workspace tree on the left. We can see the robot under simulation. We can see the operation panel. I can expand that to get to jog. I can click on program monitor to monitor my program if I want to. I can control the hand or hands. I can start and stop my program and I can turn on and off the 3D monitor. So if the 3D monitor is not up, you can click on the 3D monitor and it'll bring it up eventually. There it goes. When I'm in my 3D monitor, assuming that I'm using a mouse and not a touchpad, most mice have three options, the left button, the right button, and the scroll wheel. For the RT Toolbox 3, the left mouse button controls my rotation of my view. And so click the left mouse button and drag left, right, down, up, as you want until you are happy with your position. If you click on the right button on the mouse, and this assumes you haven't customized the mouse, it will allow you to pan. So click and hold and drag left, right, up, down as you need to. There are three zoom options. If you look at the top of your screen, mouse zooms where by scrolling the middle uh, wheel in your mouse, zooms wherever your mouse cursor is. And so you notice everything is passing to the right because my mouse cursor is to the left. And as I zoom out, same thing. And if I scroll or move over here and scroll in with mouse selected as a zoom type, you'll notice it'll pan that way. If I leave it on origin, Regardless of where my mouse is, I am always going to zoom relative to the origin. Screen center works much like origin, to be honest. So if we drag that over here, it is technically zooming there. But if I do origin, as you can see, there's not a lot of difference. It depends on how big an area you have selected currently. If I want to display my coordinate system, I can select 3D monitor from the layout tree, display coordinate axis, and now I have X, Y, and Z displayed. If I want to see the coordinate system for an object in my workspace, I can select on that individual object. So I've selected on the robot. Now at the moment it's not on by default. It will it'll show other things. There is whoops didn't mean to spin that but since we're there. So this larger arrowhead with the cone at the end is the X, Y, and Z axes of the robot in world mode for all intents and purposes. I can under properties also turn on and off other parameters and one of them here it is display tool coordinate system. As you can see this does not zoom especially quickly. I don't know if that's my settings or the software to be honest. Once I get close it goes pretty fast. So tool coordinate system is now showing me the coordinate system and the XYZ axes for the tool. So if I were to come over to jog and jog joint 5, you'll notice my tool coordinate system moves with the tool. If I've defined a hand, I can have that display appropriately as well. This holds true for rotation as well, and even rotation back up into the wrist, forearm. So that is how to turn on and off those coordinate systems if you wish to. There are a lot of other properties associated with the robot. Feel free to scroll through and tweak them to, until you're happy. 
If I want to turn on or off an object within my workspace, I can by selecting or deselecting it. Here's a 3D stand that I brought in. That can be hidden as well. If I select that 3D stand, under properties, I can control certain things with regard to that. We'll get into that a little bit more when we address how to load 3D models, but note that the origin for that 3D model, that stand, is back here relative to the rest of the stand. Hope that helps. That's all for now.